Hi everyone. In this video, I'm going to talk about the design process of Waveguide Iris Bandpass filter. This filter consists of rectangular half wavelength resonators that operate in TE101 mode. The resonators separated by inductive irises. The waveguide iris filter can be applied as bandpass filter. In this video, I will explain the design method of combining K impedance inverter circuit model with an electromagnetic simulator that is applicable for narrowband filters. The considered design is based on the equal ripple passband which its low pass filter prototype is given by this equation. Tn function is the Chebyshev polynomial and 1 plus k to the power of 2 determines the ripple level. This table is an example of elements values for the Chebyshev filters with 1 half dB ripple level. Next step is to perform bandpass transformation using this relation where omega 0 is the center frequency omega 1 and omega 2 are the edge frequencies of passband and delta is the fractional bandwidth which is expressed as guide wavelengths for a waveguide with width of a the guide wavelength is defined as this equation the important parameter to determine the filter order is the normalized frequency of considered attenuation. By using the attenuation curves versus the normalized frequency, we can set the lowest filter order to achieve the considered attenuation. This plot is an example of attenuation curves for 1 half dB ripple level. In general, each iris of the considered filter is modeled by a T network that is composed of two series inductances denoted by XS and a shunt inductance denoted by XP. To arrange the circuit in the form of the K inverter impedance model, this circuit is considered so that the inverter is created by adding a length of phi half and a length of minus phi half on each side of the discontinuity. Note that adding the length of phi half and the length of minus phi half doesn't change the original circuit. In the next step, the inverter constants are calculated using these relations. It is worth noting that the thickness of all irises is assumed to the same value in the design process. Using an electromagnetic simulator, the scattering parameters of each iris can be calculated. Then XS and XP based on the scattering parameters are computed by these equations, where S11 and S12 are the scattering parameters of the dominance TE10 mode. Phi parameter and then the inverter constants can be expressed as a function of XS and XP. It should be noted that both XP and XS and consequently K and phi are functions of the iris widths. Since the functions are not explicit, one needs to run the electromagnetic simulation for a range of iris widths to calculate its parameters and the corresponding XS, XP, phi and K values. This will allow to construction of a lookup table or a curve for K versus iris widths. With knowledge of the required k value, we can identify the iris widths and then use the associated phi values to calculate the resonator lengths. The length of resonators is obtained by this relation. Here, using Compson Multiphysics, I present an example of calculation of XP, XS, phi, and K parameters. And also to determine the iris widths, I provide a curve for K versus the iris widths. 
I drew a iris in WR90 waveguide in console software for frequency of 11.5 GHz. I set the boundary condition of PEC and two rectangular ports for excitation. To calculate correct values of its parameters, I used the embedding ports at the surface of iris. To compute the required parameters, I defined xp, xs, v, and k variables in the variable list. emw.ds11 and emw.ds21 are the s parameters of the embedding ports. Finally, by adding a parameter sweep to a study, I swept the defined variables over different values of the iris widths. Now the setup is ready and we can solve the problem. In the results section, I add one the plot group and then global part to plot the K curve versus the iris widths. Using this plot, we can determine the iris widths due to the calculated K parameter from the mentioned equations. This process is repeated to find the associated fee value. Using the presented design method, I designed a waveguide iris bandpass filter at center frequency of 11.5 GHz with bandwidths of 500 MHz. The calculated parameters and filter dimensions are shown in these tables. Due to the presented tutorial, you can design a narrowband waveguide iris bandpass filter at arbitrary frequency. If you enjoyed this video, please like it and subscribe my channel to watch more videos about design and simulation of electromagnetic components. Thank you for watching.